Hello everyone, I'm Eddie from GEO Australia. I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owner of the land on which we meet today. I would also like to pay my respect to elders, past, present and emerging. Psychologists' work in the criminal justice setting has been criticized to be too individualistic, if not colluding with the failed system to blame the victim. On the other hand, some critical psychologist stance in the form of decarceration may be too far from realization in the near future. Today, I would like to share the experience working in between these two extremes by promoting a more rehabilitative culture in a rectorial prison for the benefit of the prisoner. This approach is not only aligned with the recent international effort to promote a more human and person-centered intervention, but also consistent with the key community psychology principle. For example, as stated in the SCRA region statement, or as we understood in this community psychology space, I suppose we all agree that human problems are best understood by willing people within their social, cultural, economic, and historical context. Therefore, the trained strategy are also leaded at multiple levels. Um, instead of just fixing the individual, we also have to foster settings that promote competence and well-being. As a researcher working in the Raven Hall Correctional Center, I'm proud to belong to a team of people working hard to provide quality service to the offender and to ensure community safety. In today's session, I would like to share the experience of Raven Hall with its unique approach to offender rehabilitation and reintegration. In addition, I will also report some preliminary findings of a study examining the prison culture at Ravenhall and its associated influence on staff. Ravenhall Correctional Center opened in 2017 and since beginning, its operation has focused on promoting a more positive culture that helps facilitate the rehabilitation of prisoners. Ravenhall is a medium security male prison in Victoria, built for 1300, recently extended to 1600 in capacity. There are significant focus in seven areas, including young adult, indigenous, mental illness, challenging behavior, transition and reintegration, and remind population. Aligned with its rehabilitative focus, Raven Hall has an unprecedented level of program and service delivery with over 70 programs available to prisoners. Also, Raven Hall is very concerned about the continuum of care so that it worked closely with wide-reaching community service agency to continue the service post-release so as to increase the um, potential of reintegration. Ravenhall also has a unique staffing model to support the active engagement of prisoners. For example, Ravenhall has more than 300 non-custodial staff who service the criminogenic, reintegration, health and mental health needs of prisoners. Last year, Ravenhall kicked off a, a prison climate study which we would like to examine whether the perception of prison climate is related to the behavior and experience of the staff and prison, prisoner. Let's have a bit of introduction of the literature in social climate. Uh, defined by Mu, social climate could be understood as the material, social and emotional condition of a given environment and the interaction between such factors. As compared to culture, uh, social climate is more about the uh, perception of the organization at an operational level. In secure environment, prison climate is more related to the um, relationship and in, uh, interaction between the staff and staff and prisoner. It's also about how supportive the environment towards the therapeutic goal. It's also about the level of tension of perceived threat of uh, uh, violence. Previous research has already documented the benefit of positive prison social climate, including a higher level of well-being and treatment motivation, 
better therapeutic relationship, and most importantly, the lower level of real funding. But there was less research examined uh, how it affects the staff performance. Having said that, most, uh, more study on prison staff only focus on examining the relationship between the job performance and the demographic variable or the workplace support outcome. So um, to our understanding, um, there is only one research uh, uh, that investigates the impact of prison condition on staff well-being, which was conducted by Beery, who found that um, the harsher prison condition in terms of more noise, dirty environment, or less privacy will lead to more severe psychological and physical problems, resulting in higher level of absences. In the Australian context, Andrew Day study compare the social climate uh, between uh, in both prisoner and staff in two rectorial prisons, one a therapeutic uh, community and another one in a mainstream prison. As expected, what they find in the study is that both prisoner and staff uh, report uh, within the therapeutic community reported a more positive social climate as compared to their counterpart in the mainstream prison. Despite the effort, um, there's, there's still a research gap um, in relation to how prison social climate affects the staff uh, performance and, and job-related outcome. So in particular, we would also like to understand how the prison uh, climate uh, pre is predictive to staff engagement at work and other job related outcome beyond the individual differences. So um, in our study, uh, the, pur the purpose of this study is threefold. First, we would like to examine if there are any difference in the perception of prison social climate for different composition of staff in the prison. Uh, in, for example, the co custodial versus the non-custodial staff. Second, we would like to examine the uh, relationship between staff perception of social climate uh, and other job related outcome. Third, we would examine um, whether the prison social climate is pre predictive of job related outcome after accounting for the demographic variable and workplace support. In terms of the methodology, Finding presented today is based on the staff section. The prisoner section is put on hold due to COVID-19 pandemic. For the staff section, the survey was uh, sent out by the general manager uh, to all the staff, uh, but the participation in the survey is um, totally voluntary and anonymous basis. In terms of the measure, we use Acton CES, um, a widely used, uh, a widely used uh, measurements uh, in the prison environment, uh, which take into three critical aspects of prison, namely inmate cohesion, experience safety, uh, and staff support. In addition, we include two additional items to measure the perception of a trusting environment um, and safety. In job-related outcome, we measure the job satisfaction, single item, uh, job stress, work engagement, and also uh, we measure the workplace supports among the peers, supervisor, and organization as a whole. Below are the major findings. First, we try to compare our study with previous research. Um, overall, the research, uh, our result is comparable to previous study. But we also noticed that there are significant difference in perception of social climate as a whole between the correctional versus the non-correctional staff. As, uh, the, as liked the therapeutic community in Andrew's day study, the uh, non-custodial staff uh, in our study reported a more positive uh, social climate um, as compared to the custodial counterpart. Second, we would like to examine the relationship between the prison social climate and job-related outcome. 
From the table, you may notice that the prison climate is significantly correlated with all job-related outcome. In particular, the inmate cohesion, experience safety, staff support, and trusting environment are positively associated with job satisfaction and work engagement, but inversely associated with job stress. Thirdly, we would like to see if prison climate is predictive of job outcome, taking into account of the demographic variable and this workplace support. This is the multiple regression analysis that we have done for the study. Um, we have found that a more positive social climate, uh, particularly the higher level of perceived trust and safety is highly predictive of lower level of job stress, higher level of job satisfaction, and higher level of engagement at work, even after we can uh, take into consideration of the demographic variable and perceived uh, level of workplace support. Therefore, our study uh, fill up an, a very important research gap in the literature, particularly the relationship between the prison climate and staff uh, job performance. Next step, first, we will disseminate the finding with the senior leadership team and follow up with the Ravenhall Culture Committee. Second, we will continue to conduct the prisoner study to further understand how the prison climate affects the prisoner. Third, we will compare the uh, perception of the prison climate between the staff and the prisoner. Going back uh, to our going back to our earlier discussion about the psychologist's role in the prison, um, the Ravenhall experience suggests to us that psychologist's role in the prison is not only limited to one-to-one -to -one therapeutic session. Many of this, our psychologists um, Many of our clinicians are actively involved in wanting rehabilitation uh, program and groups. And from our observation, the a positive group dynamic is very important to facilitate the behavior and identity change in the prisoner. Furthermore, a team of researchers, most of them psychologists, are working hard to make good use of the data to evaluate and improve the program. Further than that, we also conduct research to examine if and how the prison environment could enhance or inhibit the positive change of prisoner. Last but not least, we also work closely with the senior leadership team to inform them about the best practice of the field and to make use of the um, data to uh, facilitate change in the prison. As a result, we try to promote towards change in multiple level, including individual, group, and program, and organizational level. Given the fact that um, the prison uh, may not be going away in the near future, I hope this experience that I share today is making sense and contributing to the greater good, not only the prisoner, but also the broader society. Lastly, uh, I would like to acknowledge the support by the senior leadership team and thanks uh, for GEO's uh, staff for the participation in the survey. Um, below is my email um, and feel free, to, feel free to contact me if you have any uh, uh, question about the study or you, if you want to know more about our work. Thank you so much for listening and your patience. Thank you.